This list isn't just about revisionist westerns, these are anti-western films where the narrative is distinctly against typical cowboy traits or heroism. John Wayne and Clint Eastwood epitomize the heroic cowboy archetype. But what if these portrayals are merely fictional, and real cowboys are actually meek, weak, and cowardly deep inside? In reality, there may be significant dissatisfaction with the myth of the tough cowboy in the lawless West. Let's explore why these films are anti-Western. Number 1, The Oxbow Incident. It is a powerful anti-Western film that subverts the typical cowboy heroism and toughness. It stands as a stark and gripping portrayal of the darker aspects of human nature. As the posse, driven by rumors and fear, seeks vengeance, the film challenges the romanticized image of cowboys as noble and righteous. Instead, it exposes the ugly realities of mob mentality and the dangers of unchecked power. The father-son dynamic adds another layer to the narrative, highlighting the passing down of these flawed values from one generation to the next. The film's bleak and uncompromising portrayal of justice and morality in the Wild West serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences of blind adherence to codes of honor and the destructive nature of violence. In this way, the Oxbow Incident serves as a scathing critique of the cowboy mythos, deconstructing the idealized image of the Western hero. Number 2, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valence this film presents a nuanced examination of the mythos surrounding the cowboy archetype. James Stewart's character, Ransom Stoddard, embodies a different kind of heroism, one that values the rule of law and civic duty over the rough and tumble ethos of the frontier. His commitment to justice and progress stands in contrast to the traditional cowboy values of rugged individualism and extra-legal justice. Despite the valorization of John Wayne's character, Tom Donifon, as a classic Western hero, the film ultimately questions the myth of the cowboy as the ultimate arbiter of justice. By portraying Stoddard as a hero for embracing the principles of civilization, the man who shot Liberty Valence subverts the traditional cowboy narrative, suggesting that true heroism lies in upholding the rule of law rather than taking justice into one's own hands. Number 3, The Big Country this film subverts the traditional cowboy image by portraying Gregory Peck's character, James McKay, as a man who rejects the typical traits associated with cowboys. McKay is a man of integrity and peace, eschewing violence and bravado in favor of dignity and moral courage. Despite possessing the physical prowess and stoicism often associated with cowboys, McKay refuses to engage in the petty feuds and machismo that define many Western heroes. His refusal to conform to these expectations sets him apart as a different kind of cowboy, a man who values honor and principle above all else. In this way, the big country challenges the traditional cowboy archetype, suggesting that true strength lies not in physical prowess or aggression, but in moral fortitude and personal integrity. Number 4, The Power of the Dog This film serves as a powerful critique of traditional cowboy masculinity, particularly through the character of Phil Burbank, played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Burbank embodies many typical cowboy traits, rugged, tough, and stoic, but these traits serve as a facade to conceal his homosexuality, reflecting the theme of hidden vulnerability and insecurity that runs through the film. Much like other cowboys who mask their fears and insecurities with bravado and toughness, Burbank uses his outward persona to deflect attention from his true self. This portrayal challenges the stereotypical image of the cowboy as a symbol of unyielding masculinity, instead suggesting that such ideals can mask deeper, more complex truths about identity and self-perception. Number 5, McCabe and Mrs. Miller This film subverts traditional cowboy tropes in several ways, particularly through the character of John McCabe, played by Warren Beatty. McCabe is not the typical tough cowboy, instead, he tries to navigate the challenges of his environment through economic and legal means. He attempts to establish a successful business in the town, rather than relying solely on physical prowess or violence. This approach sets him apart from the traditional cowboy hero who typically relies on these traits. The film also subverts other Western conventions by portraying a more realistic and gritty depiction of life in the West, including its harshness and moral ambiguity. 
The relationship between McCabe and Mrs. Miller, played by Julie Christie, further adds depth to the film, highlighting themes of love, power, and personal ambition in a way that defies traditional Western storytelling. Number 6, Brokeback Mountain. This is a poignant example of an anti-Western film, subverting the traditional cowboy image in a powerful way. The film portrays two cowboys, Ennis Del Mar and Jack Twist, played by Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal respectively, who fall in love with each other in a society that is deeply rooted in heteronormativity and traditional masculinity. The characters are portrayed as tough and rugged, embodying many typical cowboy traits, yet their love challenges the norms of the Western genre. The film depicts the struggles of the two men as they try to reconcile their feelings with societal expectations, highlighting the complexities of human emotion and the limitations of traditional cowboy masculinity. Brokeback Mountain challenges the stereotypical portrayal of cowboys and presents a more nuanced and compassionate view of love and identity in the American West. Number 7, Killers of the Flower Moon. Based on the book of the same name, presents a unique blend of gangster and western genres, challenging traditional cowboy tropes. The characters portrayed by Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio can be seen as a negative reflection of the tough cowboy image. These characters are depicted as greedy, power-hungry, ruthless, insecure, and cowardly, subverting the typical heroic cowboy archetype. Set in the early 20th century, the film uses cars and other vehicles as substitutes for horses and carts, symbolizing a modern twist on the Western setting. Instead of a traditional cowboy hero taking down the villains, the story unfolds with government agents enforcing the rule of law, highlighting the consequences of lawlessness and the complexities of justice in the American West. Killers of the Flower Moon challenges the romanticized notion of the cowboy and offers a gritty portrayal of the darker side of the frontier. Number 8, The Ballad of Cable Hogue. This is a film that challenges the typical cowboy archetype by presenting Cable Hogue as a character who rejects the traditional notions of toughness and bravado. Instead, Cable embodies a sense of resilience and adaptability, as he transforms a harsh desert landscape into a thriving business opportunity. Played with depth and nuance by Jason Robards, Cable's journey is one of self-discovery and reinvention, as he navigates the complexities of human relationships and the harsh realities of life in the Wild West. The film's portrayal of Cable's entrepreneurial spirit and his ability to find success in unexpected places serves as a poignant commentary on the nature of survival and ambition in a rugged and unforgiving environment. Number 9, Little Big Man. It is a film that subverts the traditional cowboy narrative by presenting the story through the eyes of Jack Crabb, a white man raised by Native Americans. This unique perspective allows the film to explore themes of cultural identity, racism, and the myth of the American West. Jack's journey is one of self-discovery, as he navigates between two worlds and comes to question the ideals of the white settlers and the treatment of Native Americans. The film challenges the romanticized view of cowboys as heroes and instead presents a more nuanced portrayal of the complexities of life on the frontier. Through Jack's experiences, Little Big Man offers a critique of the violence and injustice that characterize the settling of the West, making it a compelling and thought-provoking entry in the anti-Western genre. Number 10, The Misfits. It is a film that defies the traditional cowboy image by portraying its characters as flawed and disillusioned individuals struggling to find purpose in a changing world. The protagonists, played by iconic actors like Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe, are not the typical heroic cowboys but rather a group of drifters and outcasts searching for meaning in their lives. Set against the backdrop of the Nevada desert, the film explores themes of alienation, disillusionment, and the loss of traditional values. The characters' attempts to find meaning in their lives ultimately lead to tragedy, highlighting the emptiness of the cowboy myth and the harsh realities of life in the modern West. The Misfits is a powerful critique of the cowboy mythos, offering a more realistic and nuanced portrayal of life on the margins of society.